Hi, this is Russ McClay, and uh, this video is an overview and kind of a revisit of something I made a long time ago. Well, somewhere around 1996, 1997. And this is a Flash um, program, which I created in Flash. And uh, it's called the I Ching Sequencer. And what it is, is it is a way to um, compare the various sequences of the I Ching hexagrams uh, in various systems. And it's, I think it's, uh, it, the, the purpose of it originally, and it still is, is as a kind of a study tool and something uh, that, uh, you know, a student of the I Ching can use to kind of, you know, have another angle or view of things. And one of the ideas behind it is that um, very much like in time-lapse photography, uh, for example, where you see a flower opening, I mean, we know flowers open and close, but, you know, the first time you see a time-lapse uh, sequence of a flower opening, you really understand it's uh, that they're really like alive. And you can see patterns in there that you couldn't if you watched it in real time. And so part of the sequencer's purpose was to show the transitions. Now, to just uh, quickly go over the parts here, I will just start from uh, left to right. And we have our title here, the version. Uh, and on the left here is, there are 64 hexagrams. So as we go through them, this is just a, a marker to show basically where we are on, on the uh, list of, of the hexagrams on the timeline. Now this mystery sequence here is the one that I chose to use and it comes from Wilhelm Bain's edition of the I Ching and there really, I have never been able to find where this really came from. But the mystery sequence uh, appears to be the most natural one to me. Then we have King One who is really responsible for the I Ching and so this will show the corresponding number like what did King One use in his sequence. That is. The sequence is that the hexagrams are six line figures, as you see here. That these are six solid lines, and uh, a hexagram is composed of six lines, and uh, they can either be solid or broken, which represent yin and yang. Yang being solid, yin being broken. So this is a point of reference, as I write here. And then we look at the king one sequence which is the same as this number here and then there's another system of arrangement which is called the fushi or binary sequence uh, which is you know any computer programmer would appreciate that and it's interesting to note that in the fushi binary sequence that um, its starting hexagram is exactly opposite of the starting hexagram of both the uh, mystery sequence and the king one parallel and uh, they're all broken, all yin, all yang. So the controls here we see uh, are pretty simple, just like a, um, you know, a tape deck. So we're going to go through them here first uh, in, in just sequence. So there's, we'll just go through it very quickly. And you can see what's happening here. Very beginning here at step two, we have a broken line that's going to start moving up. And here we have a solid line that's going to start moving up. And here we notice that the King 1 parallel went from all uh, yang to all yin on this second. So, you know, very three very different ways of, of presenting a sequence. And so we'll just go through these. And you can just kind of watch the patterns uh, that are happening with this as we step through the 64 hexagrams. And again, the mystery sequence ha seems to have a very uh, balanced way of, of uh, going through the hexagrams, which has always kind of attracted me to it as being, uh, you know, worthy of, of practice and notice and study. And here we are, we're coming up very quickly to the end of the sequence. And that's it, that's the 64. Uh, hexagrams. Here we can see we ended up here uh, on the 64th hexagram 
which is not the mystery sequence. This is the sequence number. This is the hexagram number. And uh, we see the binary now at the last is all ones. We started off with all zeros. With mystery sequence, it's all yin, whereas we started out with all yang. And uh, now the player part, the, uh, the part that I really wanted to put into this uh, to show a time lapse bit is, is like this. And here if we click play, we can see a little bit clearer what's going on with the sequences, how they are arranged. And I really felt that there was something to be um, learned from this to see this happening. And certainly the mystery sequence. I mean, I don't think there are very few people who have ever studied the I Ching who have ever uh, seen this, uh, this flower opening. Maybe I should call this the secret of the golden flower. So that is um, the uh, I Ching sequencer. We can hit stop here. We can set it back to rewind, previous, next, and play. So, so that, that was this uh, little application I made many, many years ago. And uh, you know, quite a number of people over the years have, have written me and said, wow, this is uh, pretty cool. As a matter of fact, in the, uh, it's version 1.3 because I started off with version 1. And uh, some people had sent me emails years ago that I had, you know, one thing was out of sequence or there was a problem here or there. Fix those, that became version 1.2. And then a few years went by and then I got a couple more several years ago as well. And that I think pretty much got rid of all the errors in it in terms of the sequences and that became version 1.3. Anyhow, it's buried in the archives on the net. Maybe uh, the Internet Archive has uh, kept a copy of it somewhere, but it's on my website. and. Uh, dalodge.com and uh, yeah if you're a student of the Ching it might be something useful to you